Hey everyone, Miss Ashley here, and today we are going to draw a squirrel. All right, here we go. Let's start with our squirrel's ear. And I'm going to draw a little curve line up and down. And I'm going to leave it open at the bottom. And from there, we're going to go up this line just a little bit and we are going to make a curved line around. His head is almost the shape of like a football. And once you get to the end, we're going to make the bottom. And I'm going to stop right about there. And let's jump back up top and draw his other little ear. And then on the inside of the ear, I'm gonna do a little line that kind of outlines his inside of his ear. Okay, next let's draw his nose. So go to this point of his face and Draw a little round nose. And I'm gonna draw his eye right about here. I'm gonna draw a nice little circle. And then on the inside, you can do a smaller circle, which will be the highlight later. And to give it a little extra detail, I'm going to draw like a little teardrop shape around his eye. And we can color that like a light tan color later. All right. Next, let's go back up here to the top of his head. And you see where his head kind of goes behind his ear? We're going to start right there and make the back of his head. So I'm going to draw a little line around like that. And we're going to leave this part open. Okay. And now let's draw his back. So this line is going to do a little curve and his back is going to curve around like that. I'm gonna make it curve just a little bit more. All right, perfect. Next step, let's draw his arms. So go right about here where the face ends and we're gonna draw a line that goes out like this. That's going to be the top of his little arm and hands. It's going to curve around and then down and up. Okay. Our next step is to draw his back legs. And to do that, we're gonna start about in the middle of his body, and you're gonna make a big C shape. And then his feet will come out like this and connect to the bottom of his body. Okay. Next, we're going to draw a little belly and I'm going to draw like, I'm going to start up here by his face and draw an imaginary line. So I'm not putting my pencil down on the paper until I get about here. And that's where my line is going to start for his belly. Okay. 
and let's go ahead and draw a little foot on the other side. So we're gonna follow the same pattern that we have right here. So we're gonna go, oops, we're gonna go out and in, and then curve around to make his feet. Next, let's draw his tail. Now I'm gonna start my squirrel's tail all the way up here at the top of his back. And squirrels have big bushy tails. So we're gonna make a big curve line. It's gonna go up over his head and curl around like that. And then we're gonna take that line and we're gonna go in just a little bit, back out and back in to connect to the bottom of his body. Next, we're gonna draw the acorn. So let's start at the top of our squirrel's little paw and Draw a curved line around, and then it's gonna connect back to our squirrel. And then the bottom of the acorn, it's gonna come down to a point, and then back up. There we go, and we can do a little stem at the top. And then acorns have like little lines like this. It's almost like a tic-tac-toe board. That's what it reminds me of. So if you wanna add details to your acorn, you can do that. And there we go, our squirrel looks adorable. Now let's color. Our squirrel looks great. Now pause the video if you need to finish coloring. Thanks for drawing with me. Have a great day.